Governor, um, uh, both publicly and privately, city officials have said you've given the city of Milwaukee short shrift, both during your first few years as well as in the new budget. Uh, Transform Milwaukee had the lion's share of the money was committed to a hotel and a water council mm -hmm. development. There's two and a half million dollars for Transform Milwaukee in your new budget. They accuse you of ignoring the foreclosure crisis, and now we have the residency rule. Um, are you a friend of the city of Milwaukee? Absolutely. I'm a friend of the taxpayers, I'm a friend of the people, I'm a friend of the job creators. Um, politically, I may not be aligned with everything that some of the city leaders have, but, but in the end, uh, the people in Milwaukee will fare better because of my tenure as governor. Just hands down. How uh, so? More jobs, lower taxes, better economy. Um, not as good as we'd like uh, because we're improving, but a lot better than where we were before I was governor. And so it's interesting on each of those issues. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you, it's interesting that uh, foreclosure being an example. You look at all the states that took foreclosure money. In Wisconsin, more than eight, about 82 percent of that <clears throat> goes directly to the homeowners, of which the vast majority are Milwaukee. Of uh, the three major programs that WIDA has, two of the three are exclusively in the city of Milwaukee. Um, when you look at other states across America, there are 20 states who spend 50% or less on, on home-related options, and six of which spend it entirely uh, on state government. We spent a fraction of that on state government because state government, just like homeowners and others, had the negative impact, and we were the ones that brought that lawsuit. So it's one of those where, unfortunately, I think sometimes some of the leaders here don't want to deal with the issues that they have before them. They're looking for somebody else to blame about the challenges they face instead of facing those head on. What so, would you tell them to do? Yeah. What, tell them to what do? would you tell the city leaders to do? You say, instead of them blaming the Walker administration, what would you tell them to address? What should they do? Oh, I'd focus on things that improve the quality of life in the city of Milwaukee. <coughs> um, and again, I'm not going to do anything about this from the state standpoint, but a good example, living, still living in the metropolitan areas. I'd spend my time and resources uh, on economic development projects that put people to work instead of a streetcar that'll affect a handful of people on the Upper East Side of Milwaukee. Uh, I'd spend more time focusing on helping develop jobs and improving the climate, streamline the process as opposed to picking battles either at the state or the federal level, finding ways to invest, particularly uh, in corridors where there's high unemployment. It's what we tried to do with Empower uh, Milwaukee. We'd like to do more. It hasn't met every one of our challenges, but that's something we did because we saw something we initiated because we didn't see the city of Milwaukee doing enough uh, to help the city of Milwaukee. And we tried to connect it from a, uh, a, a, a particularly a transportation background. But sixty-two million dollars of your hundred million dollar initiative are over here downtown, a hotel and a water council. The problem is in the central city. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, but but so so I'd say the counter. So is the city saying we shouldn't spend that money on that project? I mean, the reality is we did, and that will create jobs in Milwaukee. We didn't sp take that money and say, okay, we're going to spend it in Superior. We still send it in the city of Milwaukee. So it, it just, it, it seems to me, instead of dealing with the issues that are out there, they're looking for people to blame. Uh, we're making investments in Milwaukee, and what they're saying, much like I mentioned before, where I said taxes went up before I was governor, I'm now lowering, and so instead of saying that's good, some detractors are saying, no, you're not cutting them enough in these groups. Jobs were lost before, they're now increasing under my administration, and they're saying, well, that's not enough, they should be higher, even though when we presided, they were going down. Here, what I hear is, you're investing money in Milwaukee, but you're not investing enough, or you're not investing in the right areas. Well, again, we're investing in, investing in areas where people are asking for help in the city of Milwaukee, unlike the past where that money just wasn't there. Well, what about Century, Century City? Um, what kind of investment are you really making to that area? Because that's an area of high unemployment. That's an area that was more, at one time booming in the 1950s and 60s. It was a, it was a place where people could ha make a livable wage, buy homes, take, send their kids to college, all that stuff. And you said something about a major commitment there, but I don't, I haven't seen it materialize. Well, the, right, our, our focus is on is, is on having that money available, but you can't do it without projects. I mean, it, it's it's our commitment is to have that money available within the corridor of which the two projects that Don alluded to are within that corridor. Um, <clears throat> some may want them in different parts of it, but again, these are about leveraging not just public dollars but private dollars as well. And so the project downtown and the water incubator which for years you guys have all editorialized the water council is a good thing water is one of those emerging technologies 
you know, half of all the top 12 centers of water excellence are right here. 150 of the water-based companies are all here. We made that project possible. Wouldn't have happened with the city of Milwaukee. It happened because of WIDA and the involvement of the state of Wisconsin. So, and I'm not saying you're saying that, James, but I'm saying, so we're investing in things that leaders, not Madison, but Milwaukee have said for years are priorities. We need projects, we need development, but the state alone can't do it. Those are things where if this, if per, not only your question, but Don's as well, if city leaders came and said, hey, we've got a developer, we've got a project in this part of the city, and, whether it's there or it's the, near the old Dale Smith plant or, or, or anywhere else, we'd be more than willing to look at that. But we alone can't generate those. We're, we're not looking at sole investments from the state or from WIDA. We're looking about investments we can make in private ventures where we provide a significant financial impact to help drive those projects forward. Governor, on schools, a lot wait, wait, Jim, just one follow-up. <clears throat> Your point's a valid one, but <clears throat> I just... I can't stress it enough, but that's where if the city wants to be engaged in that, come to us with projects and say, here are good, you know, here are things we should do. It's, it's not our role, nor should it be, for us to come in and... and is, that com is that communication taking place? It seems like, you know, when you talk to the city, they... You know, say, well, we're doing our effort, but what is the state doing? So, but, but, I'm, I'm but you're right to something. say generic. I mean, list the project where we have said no, a viable project. I mean, even even I'll give you one more step. Look at what we're doing with the home bridge. Now, we don't need to do this. There's nothing that obligated this. We are dramatically changing the takedown of the on and off ramps off the home bridge. Why? Because a number of leaders here, not just Rocky Marco, but but private sector leaders who many have talked to you. Uh, from the folks from Northwestern Mutual and downtown and, and, and We Energies and Michael Cutting and all have said, we need an open gate uh, view of, of, the, of, of the lakefront. That's a great development opportunity. There's tremendous potential there. It'll be a great way to put a, a signature mark on the city of Milwaukee. We didn't have to do that. That's considerable cost to us. In most cases, when we take up and down uh, on and off ramps, we partner with the given community. We're ultimately going to pick up the tab for that. Why? Because we think it makes sense and <clears throat> we understand the city, unfortunately, is not in a viable position to do what other communities do, and that is partner in the cost of those on and off ramps going down. But we think it, that's a pretty big, important deal. Now, is it in the areas that you mentioned? No, but it is when we get asked what are our priorities, where our focus point, these are things that people bring to us and these are things that we've supported.